r slash ask reddit what industry do you hope won't exist in 10 years also make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the fuckers that make college textbooks two thousand dollar dollars i don't know if this falls i to the right category but everything needing wi-fi i bought a scale the other day that needed wi-fi before it could read my weight i have a ps5 with all the media apps i need give me the option for a dumb tv my washer dryer fridge and oven also shouldn't need wi-fi to be able to do basic operations Samsung as a company is driving me up the fucking wall lately. Scam call centers. They'll be replaced by AI scam call centers. Everything is a subscription. As a tech worker I understand why this is so popular but god do I hate it. Edit. Some subscriptions can genuinely offer amazing value to consumers. My problem is the mass adoption of subscription on products and services that have no business being a subscription. Those that exist solely so companies can make more money off of you. Not everything should be a subscription. Right? I fucking despise it, even something silly as a bad coloring app wants a $8.99 monthly subscription, that's Disney Plus with ads MFS. Third Party Student Loan Consultants I used to work as a federal student loan collector for a department of education contractor. I have horror stories about borrowers who were purposefully deceived by these people, the worst of whom was someone who thought a consolidation she paid for completely eliminated her obligation. What these legally grey assholes do is trick people into paying to have free paperwork done on their behalf. Sure they have the tiny fine print disclosures, but they're extremely predatory and make me sick. Immo getting rid of them could be legislation worthy given that they interfere with federally owned debts. Child modeling and anything to do with children being publicized on social media. MLM slash pyramid schemes. The amount of FB posts I see that are like oh, join my book exchange. Send 6 books, get 36 back, OCL, variations include wine bottles, kids toys, etc. OCZ tells me pyramid schemes are not going anywhere, because people are not smart enough to realize these are literally the definition of a pyramid scheme. Pharmacy Benefit Managers, PBMs. Look them up. The Accor basically blood-sucking middlemen that sit between hospitals and health insurers. Supposedly created to control prescription drug costs and manage formularies, but they actually drive prices up. One of the many terrible causes of high medical costs in the states. Idaco's not the PBMs alone that drive up the price, Idaco's the combination of every single company in the supply chain. PBMs are often easily blamed by the other companies to hide their own drug price inflation because Idaco's easy to blame a negotiator and call them a middleman. Donacott get me wrong, I agree with you PBMs are terrible too, but would no cut it just be better if medical insurance went away, or even better, eliminating the industry of corporate lobbying that prevents the government from going after the medical industry. Telemarketers I think it's funny that we already have telemarketing robots calling call screening robots. Personally I just use Tasker to auto drop any call from a number that isn't in my contacts. Puppy slash kitten farms this and even pet stores that actually sell animals from these mills. My home state of Maryland is the second behind California in banning pet stores from selling animals from puppy slash kitten mills. The Concert Ticket Mafia. Ticketmaster slash StubHub slash Live Nation. Fuck them. EDA, I know those entities aren't really an entire industry. They basically have the market monopolized, though. No shit. A few years ago I wanted to get Garth Brooks tickets. The venue had this aux system aux set up to keep scalpers aka Ticketmasters from grabbing a bunch of tickets. I logged into the website at the exact time the website said and had to keep hitting refresh for a fucking hour and a half. By the time I could get in there was one ticket left. One. Then guess who started advertising tickets? Yup. Fucking Ticketmasters. Fuck em. The troubled teen industry. Look up Nexpo's video on Ella School and you'll see what I mean.
Abusing minors for money should no cut be an industry. Edit, did no cut realize this would get so much traction, so if you're really interested in helping advocate against TTI, head over to our slash troubled teens and join our little crew. As a former student, prisoner. I could not second this enough. The facility I was sent to got shut down a number of years ago but there are still many other thriving programs. Some of the girls who also went there are now working on a documentary to shed some light on how counterproductive and downright criminal these places are. 24-hour propaganda media outlets masquerading as Oknusical. TLC masquerading as the Learning Channel. Payday loans. Just an endless cycle of debt. Mommy slash family vloggers. They're sinister, a podcast I listened to did a 7 asterisk episode deep dive and it was horrifying. There needs to be laws to protect these exploited children and in 10 to 20 years we're going to see a lot of these kids telling their horror stories and suing their parents. Edit to add, the podcast is called Someplace Underneath. It's episodes 56 to 62. In 10 to 20 years we're going to see a lot of these kids telling their horror stories and suing their parents. The horrible thing is that for every cringy family vlog with a million subscribers there are a hundred failed attempts with parents that are probably doing even more damage to their children. For-profit prisons. Private prisons are an abomination. US tax prep. Unnecessary middleman with artificially maintained necessity due to lobbying bribery. Edit. I understand that many people have a reason to use professional tax services. In fact, I'm one of them surprised. Most people don't need this, though. There should be a better alternative for the average taxpayer, especially considering how confusing and fluid the government system is. As a tax preparer I partly agree. There is absolutely no reason for an individual who works a job and receives wage income needs to file a tax return in the computer age. Employers should be able to withhold the correct amount and everything is done. It would save the IRS paper and man hours and a lot of people a lot of frustration. It is done by plenty of other countries. People with rental income, self-employment income, and similar would still need to file a return. Oncology I think even oncologists would agree and we would happily retrain them in any other field of their choosing. Call scammers that steal from the elderly. Anything involving cold calling, or massive phone call farms pimping random. Shit. Edit, I did not expect 17k upvotes. Ha ha tie. I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Fast fashion. Child beauty pageants are they still going? that. Not even Frank's Little Beauties. For-profit health insurance. Human trafficking. Looks back at history. Should I tell them? Child porn. No matter the place it feels weird to upvote a comment that says child porn. Everything to do with planned obsolescence. Massive industry, disproportionately responsible for obscene levels of environmental damage. Sex trafficking industry and just the trafficking industry in general. Unfortunately trafficking has been around for thousands of years and will most likely not be gone in the next 10 years, sad face. Sewage cleaning in many third world countries people have to climb into sewer to clean them without any proper protection. I hope the technology becomes cheaper soon. More here, https colon slash slash www.factchecker.in slash india hyphen to hyphen eliminate hyphen manual hyphen cleaning hyphen of hyphen sewers hyphen says hyphen min hyphen fact hyphen tech hyphen not hyphen ready hyphen cast hyphen major hyphen challenge. Social media influencing. I think Idaho's going to get much worse before it gets any better. Those damn ads in my mailbox that take up all the room that I immediately throw away. For-profit healthcare. 
for-profit tax filing companies. For-profit prisons. Money in politics.